Hey guys and welcome back to G's Autos. Thank you so much for tuning in. Well, it's toy review time again and today we're taking a look at the Lego City cargo train set. This was an absolutely fun set to build. Uh, look, I personally think this is value for money. There, are, There is so much interaction with this set and the whole set is fun to build. There's lots of pieces. And plus you can get add-on sets to change the length of the track, change the shape of it and so on. So I think this is really good. That's just my personal opinion. I was really, really happy with it. Anyway, this is a video. We're just going to run through making the set and giving my feedback on it. So enough out of me. I hope you like the video and I'll see you on the next one. Alright guys, so here's our box. Da -da 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 -da. Let's crack open the box and let's take a look and see what's inside. Alright, so we've laid all the bags out onto the table. There are a lot of bags. So there's all your tracks, your controllers, your power module, all your instruction manuals. Now there are 12 bags in total. So this is a pretty big set. You can see by all the bags and all the bits and pieces. You excited, boys? Yes! You excited? Yes! That's the way. All right, so we're going to start with um, bag number one with the booklet. We'll have a look at the instruction manual and see what they look like. Oh. Number one. All right, but we've got to grab the instruction manual and see what to do. Let's get into it. All right, so here are all our instruction manuals. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, there's also some stickers. Sorry about the glare there. There's also a bunch of stickers that go on there as well. We'll get to that. But we're going to start with book number one, which is the uh, forklift. Then you've got the uh, bank security truck. You've got two books for the uh, locomotive. One for two carriages and another book for the control tower and the final carriage. All right, let's start with book number one. All right, the forklift build is done. That was a cool little build, actually. I really enjoyed that. Uh, now, just keep in mind, you'll see there the cage and the fork for the forklift are actually stored in a separate bag. So just keep that in mind. And there's a little rubber band, as you'll see there on the fork section, that when you release that, it goes back up, which is really cool. And it's nice and easy to pick up that uh, little pallet of gold and money and move it around. Just on the back there, guys, there's just one little sticker on the bumper. That was nice and easy to put on. But I really enjoy this little uh, forklift. I think it's super cool. Alright, it's time to build the armoured truck. Now there's a couple of boards in there that you uh, need to grab out of the one of the other bags. There's all the bits, let's get into it. Alright, so the first part of the armoured truck has finished being built. We've now moved on to bag number three, which will finish the truck off. So there's our Lego there to finish this section. Now there was just one sticker, which was for the front, and I'm guessing there'll be another one to go on the back. Anyway, let's keep moving. Alright, so the armoured truck is done. This is a cool little build. Um, you've got adjustable mirrors on the side there, so hopefully you can see that okay. Adjustable mirrors. You've got little doors on the side that open up. Uh, the roof can easily come off on the truck, so you can put your driver in and take him out. Uh, and the other cool feature on this is that the side of the, um, the armoured truck actually opens up. So if we come around and have a look here, let's see if we can get that to open up. So it opens up like that. I'll spin that around. So you've got access there for that pallet. So here's the pallet that we built earlier with the uh, forklift. And that pallet can just sit in the side and the forklift can take that out. So that's pretty cool. Now, just one thing to keep in mind when you are putting this together, the stickers. These stickers are super sticky, so if you don't get them lined up straight and you lay it down and then you need to peel that sticker off to realign it, they are really, really difficult to get off. So I actually damaged the corner edge, you'll probably see there of that sticker there, 
I damaged that a little bit because I stuck it down. It wasn't straight. But overall, this is a fun little um, armoured truck to build. Uh, like, it, like I mentioned, lots of little things to open and close on it, which is heaps of fun. All right, so here we are. We're up to books three and four. Now, these uh, books three and four cover the large section of the build, which is the locomotive and all your track sections. So just be careful taking that piece out of the bag so you don't damage that ribbon cable. So this is the big fun part of the build. I won't be doing this one. My partner will be doing this one so she gets all the fun. But anyway, that's all the bits and pieces. Let's start building. Okay, guys, book three is done, and that completes the first section of the locomotive. Now, you'll just see down here on those corners there, one there, there's a little sticker down there in the corner. Not my best sticker application, I might add. Not quite straight, not too happy with it. They're just fiddly little stickers. So just take that in, uh, keep that in mind when you're putting it all together. All right, it's time to move on to bag six and seven. To finish off this locomotive, let's start building. All right, books three and four are done, and that is the locomotive finish, looking very, very cool. Now there's just a couple of stickers, one there and one on the opposite side, and then the on-off button sticker, which is just up here. Very clever little system, this. Little uh, channel that runs along there, and at the end there, it just allows it to um, press the button in. Now along the top here, You'll see these little top sections open up so you can get to your uh, driver sections of the locomotive. And same again on this side. Very, very cool. So as you can see, there's some little control panels there, one at each end. And this has turned out very, very nice. Oh, and there's just a couple of other stickers, sorry. Just under there, there's a water and oil sticker on that side and on the opposite side. So, all right, so we're going to move on to the other books now. So let's take a look at those. All right, just quickly before we move on, underneath here, this one here, uh, underneath the um, locomotive is the engine, basically, uh, for the locomotive. Now, if you want to access the power uh, control module, uh, that's easily done. So up here, you'll see these four little pieces along the top. Oops. They easily come off. And then... This top section slides off. And that's how you access that. So underneath there, there's a couple little screws. You insert your batteries in there. Now, one cool feature of this train is when it is running at night time, um, you can change the light inside the cabin. So you can keep pressing the button and cycle through the different colours uh, that are available to light up inside the cabin. So that's a pretty cool little feature. All right, so we're up to book five. So we're building the two extra carriages. So we need bags eight, nine, and ten. All right, let's keep building. All right, the log carriage is done. It's pretty cool. It's got a bad little bank robber there at the back with these binoculars spying on the bank truck. Uh, three logs with chains there and just these little side bits move up and down to keep your logs in place there's four of those and that's all done that's nice that one all right let's move on to the next carriage all right the crane is done it looks absolutely fantastic what do you think buddy I give it a 100 thumbs up. well that's 100 thumbs up that's pretty good now i think this is a pretty cool little carriage this one this crane so you can actually wind the string, see if I can show you properly. So you can wind the, the hook up and down. Now you've also got, you've got a winder on each side. Now at the back here, you can actually raise and lower the boom on the crane, which is great. Now the crane also spins around. I'm just trying to do this one-handed. There you go, that spins around nicely. There's also a set of stabilizer legs uh, on the bottom here. They actually... Um, fold up and tuck away sorry underneath there which is great so this is really cool and there's a crane driver in there as well um, there's a few stickers on this one guys there's a couple of little cabinet doors on each side so let me open those up now you'll see in there little stickers uh, I didn't do that one too straight but hey it's behind cabinet doors hello there so um, there's a couple of stickers there there's 
some stickers up here. So look, there's there's more there on on the other side as well. But apart from that, look, the stickers are you just got to get used to it. They're fiddly. And um, look, I think the cranes turned out absolutely fantastic. I love it. So looking forward to getting this on there. Now let's move on to the next book and finish this off. All right, guys. So we've only got bags 11 and 12 to go. So that will build the control tower and the final carriage. So that's how we're looking so far. So let's keep building. Okay, and here is the last part of the build. This is the final carriage. This is pretty cool. So on here are two separate containers. So they, they're designed to easily be put on and taken off. So that way you can hook your crane onto the top and remove them. So that's how they're held on, just by those two single stud plates there. Now on the bank vault there are a couple of stickers. As you can see, I didn't I did not do a very good job on that one. It's not quite straight. There's another sticker along there, and I think that was about it. Besides that one there, it isn't too straight either. I did not do a very good job there. Uh, the very cool thing about this little uh, container is both of these doors open up. Now, if you remember before, we did the uh, the little pallet with the gold and the money that sits inside there so your forklift can take that out so that's very cool and the other one here is this little uh, container here and has a little um, pallet on the side so you can take that out and on there is this cool little snow bike that's pretty cool that's a nice little touch that just something extra to play with it's uh, I just love the interaction with this set and here's the final part of the build, which is the control tower. So it's a nice little uh, nice little tower with a good little bit of height on there. And inside there is your controller. She sits on a little spin chair, a little swivel chair, which is really cool. Uh, there's a nice little coffee machine in there, which looks really good. I think that's a nice little touch. Uh, there's a little sticker element there with this little arm. Um, can tell the train if uh, green for go, red for stop. There's a ladder access there for the worker. There's a little door which opens up so you can access inside the tower. Now you can easily take this roof off so you can get in through the top. And there's a couple of little screens there. Hopefully you can see them okay. There's a screen there. That's a sticker element there. And another one on there in that flat piece. And there's a little keyboard in there as well. So there's heaps of interaction here on this uh, tower. And I think it's this, this build is really good, uh, really interactive. Anyway, let's take a look at it in action.